Okay, welcome to another J Talks Cars. Um, in today's sort of content, if you will, I'm going to be adding my front splitter to the car. Um, the idea of this front splitter is more of, of a performance mod um, because purely because of the shape and the way it just it will sit on the car. I don't necessarily believe it will improve the fuel economy. Um, if anything, I think it may create a little bit of drag. But at the same time, I also believe it will stabilise the car. The whole purpose of me putting this on the car is more of a... It's more for like motorway driving. And maybe if I do, maybe do a track day in the car, I mean, if I get, get round to it, there are a few things in the pipelines that I would like to do over the coming months, maybe next year um, with the car um, to really test these ideas and everything. So getting back to the front splitter mod, um, what it's going to be is going to be a flat plane front splitter underneath the S4 splitter. So I'm going to add to it. The S4 splitter is already creating like an air direction around the car. My side skirts, I don't know if they're making much difference. Um, again, that's work in progress. I have some sort of like winglets on the bumper which seem to be stabilizing the car and I have a rear diffuser. I don't know how much of a difference that's making but the car feels stable at the back going down the motorway um also as well as you've seen from other content i've put aero strakes on and that has actually helped towards the fuel economy so it has improved by three to five miles roughly on the fuel economy even with the eco map so it's it is working um may be difficult to really give an exact idea because i'm not taking it on the track or i'm not may i've maybe not shown it on the motorway but my fuel economy has improved um it mostly and this is my caveat in all this my caveat to it is it has improved because i have changed the gearbox i've had my new gearbox in now for a good few months and my fuel economy has improved um when it had the gearbox done it had a new flywheel just to be on the safe side and the car is absolutely golden um so you're probably going to ask well why are you going to put something that could maybe undermine what you're trying to do well one i have this attitude of where there's a repair there's a modification and a visual modification wise i think there's nothing more aggressive than a flat plane front splitter um, which just deepens the car, makes the car look lower, even though I'm not prepared to lower the car any more than it is because, again, it's still the workhorse. It's not a track day car. It's not a track tool. It's not a show car. It's just something I just want to add to the car for aesthetics, and I'll be honest with you on that one. So the way I am doing or going about my aero is the diffuser underneath the back there's also small winglets on the rear bumpers there's a flat pane side skirt um i do wish to may somehow maybe improve that but again it's doing its job for now so we're okay and then the front splitter where I have got a splitter where it's directing the air around the car, but I kind of want to concentrate on maybe pushing down a little bit on the front. Now, the extension of the front splitter is more performance because of handling. Will it interfere with the idea with the fuel economy? I don't know until I test it. So I'm going to put it on, see how I get on, but I'm going to do it in a way where... I have to figure out whether to do it as a fully permanent attached mod or whether it's detachable and I can use it for certain occasions or certain scenarios. So as you remember from uh, a previous 
JTOTS cars. I was just prepping this splitter. Um, I'm going to be putting two support brackets here and something that will fix to the bottom lower part of the front bumper. And also at the side, I have added a bracket ready to uh, attach to a fixing on the inner bumper of the car. So that's at least the hard fixes done. Um, I will be putting a stick tape at the bottom part of the S4 splitter. And also as well, I'm going to be putting these in just to create some rigidity to it. And hopefully it will support it. I'm going to be going and get some more bits and um, I will show you prepping what I'm going to do. So the front splitter will be going on the bottom of the S4 splitter and um, it's just basically to go along with the others. So I've got my flat plane side skirts there. I have my rear bumper winglet and I also have my rear diffuser. Aero strakes which will do the job which have been doing the job anyway in terms of directing the airflow over the car so if i can fit my phone there i've added the fixing brackets to go underneath and then i'm going to have an adjustment bracket for these bits Still working out how we're going to fix it in the centre, um, but it's just a case of tightening everything up and then getting everything doing what we want it to do. So one side's on. Um, it's been a bit of a nightmare. The original plan, it wasn't going to work. So what I've done is I've literally done it in a way where I'm extending the uh, side skirts at the side to direct the airflow round the car and give it some squirt in some areas so hopefully it will look okay when it's done well things haven't gone to plan the bottom of it is secure however the double-sided 3m tape is a waste of space so i'm going to need to get a support bracket um, to put it in so that's going to be the next job for this and the same again on the other side but we have to agree it does make the car look a little more aggressive however I've got to do the job properly so I'm going to have to call it a failed task today a few moments later so secure at the back there so I've created a frame there and underneath I've reinforced it a bracket there and a bracket there and the same on the other side two days later okay welcome to a sunny Monday morning this is the week after um, I've attempted to put my splitter bits on so the 3m tape idea has not worked the, the brackets and everything have been quite solid so i've had to duct tape the front of it which doesn't look very tidy i'm going to run test and see if it works on the car if it is any use to the car and um if it turns out not to be any use i'm going to end up taking it off and probably consider it a failed task um the other side of it as well is I do like the aggressive look. My partner was not too keen, but end to date, it's my car. I can do what I want with it. Um, so, yeah. Let's see if we can uh, at least tidy this thing up. <laughs> see, you just used duct tape, but uh, it's not holding the weight. So I'm going to have to figure out a way of supporting it from the inside. So it doesn't look so messy on the outside. And as you can see, that's what's happened. So, um, but it has given it an aggressive look anyway. 
Okay, so let's try with this uh, front splitter on. I've secured it as best I can. I'm going to see how it feels with it on. Um, I'm hoping that the bracketing and support's going to do the job, but I think I'm going to need to do some masking or whatever on the front of it to see if it's going to be any good at it or it's going to do the job that I want it to do. At the same time, you know what I mean, I want it to function, I want it to be practical, but we'll soon see uh, if it's going to be any good or uh, if it does the job that I've intended it to do. It's feeling quite planted at the front. Cambering, I think it's just throwing things off askew a little bit, but um, yeah, seems to work. Uh, let's do a quick pre flight check. Yeah, it seems quite secure there, and it seems secure there, so let's. Uh, on the motorway. I'm going to go just on a short stretch of motorway and get the car up to the speeds that I normally go on the motorway which is clearly 70 mile an hour um, and I just want to see if the support brackets that I have built on it are strong enough to take the weight of the wind or the air as I'm going along. Now the faster you go, the air gets thicker. So, I'm testing the durability of what I've created in terms of the brackets because I've created support brackets and then I've reinforced those brackets. I am going to see about creating a bracket which is going to lift that up to the actual S4 spoiler and I'm going to see if it does the job and um, is secure enough um, also as well I'm going to have to spray up the metal plates because they are only steel and British weather you know what it's like it'll uh, yeah. Right, here we go. 65. There's a lot more grip in the front. Go around the corner, moderately speed in the corner. Let's see. It's quite stable.
maybe refining the positioning of the um, front splitter wing might be an idea but just the car just feels so direct this is a 20 year old car I might I add so you know it's one of those where feels like he's just doing the job just nicely it's handling well the fuel economy hasn't been impacted too too much bearing in mind I have said at the start of this this is a performance mod not necessarily an economy mod um, I know it kind of goes against what I'm doing but on this I am feeling quite a difference with the way the car handles feels I mean the car drives brilliantly now with the gearbox so my economy fuel economy is back good um, yeah it's uh, certainly an improvement of sorts handling well grip on the front let's do the return leg and um, give an assessment really obviously I'm gonna end up having to refine this a little bit more than what I've already done because it is a little bit crude at the minute but it's doing the job it's doing what I intended yes it is a performance mod but it's not to the extent of you know it being ludicrous so I'm uh, yeah I'm, I'm quite happy with it the car just feels much more planted I'm um, I'm glad I've done it I'm just gonna obviously gonna refine it over time um, and then see if there's any way of understanding um, how to keep it subtle because end of the day it's not dipped up it's not you know it's a flat plane with a little winglet either side and for the tire squirt um, so it's directing air towards the tire and the squirt coming off the tire and it feels really yeah really well planted and it feels quite secure on there I don't think it's going to go anywhere so that's a plus obviously I'm going to have to check bolts and make sure they're still as secure as when I fitted them because it's been about three days now and uh, yeah you know doing the job and everything I mean I've not been out in, in, in um, I've not been out to test it until today and uh, yeah it's doing the job I feel comfortable driving it that's always a worry when you do something to your car and you think yeah it's a great idea and then you come to drive it and you don't feel as confident because there's something about the car that just doesn't feel right but aerodynamically I think the car is perfect almost um, you know I'll have people saying well why don't you put a rear wing the rear wing I think unless I put it as a flat plane I think the rear wing will again create drag what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to add aero to it that minimizes drag because a lot of the use this car has is on the motorway um, you know there's no point in me going out day to day on the roads in it because my partner's got a little coarser you know we'll go out in that it's cheaper um, you know but long distance journeys are for this car but I want 
wanted to perform but also as well be you know reliable and look look nice you know look like it's up to date but at the same time you know perform like it should so yeah so Good. It's good. The next so I've had to do a bit of finessing um, just to really stop any air from getting through and ripping it apart. So a bit of finessing done on it to hopefully uh, keep that air pretty much stuck and slim where it needs to be. And the same done on the other side. So, yeah, now let's hope that it does the job how I uh, wanted it to do the job. So what have we learnt from the experiment today? Well, the car feels a lot more stable at the front. Um, I don't think it's affected the fuel economy much um i feel as though it has kept it the same maybe not to mile off maybe because of the i feel that though there is drag but because it's not fully secure to how i'm happy with it being secure um drivability it feels very direct um it feels it doesn't feel boaty on the motorway. Um, one problem I had before I started adding aero to the car was as I'm going on the motorway, as the air's going underneath the car because I've not got it slammed to the floor. Um, I don't want to slam it to the floor. So 40 mil is my limit. So at least then it's still, you know, usable. Um, but prior to me putting the aero on, as I'm going along, the aero the air going underneath the car was making the car feel like that, feel very boaty. Um, now I've put this aero on, even before these uh, splitter winglets, they, the, the car feels much more stable. It cuts through the air well. The diffuser and the rear winglets, if you want to call it that, they're not canards. Um, the back of the car feels stable. The strakes on the top have helped with improving the economy um not by a massive lot but enough that it does make a bit of a difference um so yeah it, it works i mean the idea works it does need refining i feel i feel as though it needs tidying up and maybe you know understanding where that air is going um so at some point i'm going to be coming up with experiments to kind of prove that to maybe compound that um my car has become a bit of a frankenstein's creation but it doesn't look garish it doesn't look ugly um it looks quite subtle uh some things do need obviously tidying up of those mods because over time they look a bit raggedy but the car still looks tidy um future modifications to the car not really um i need to sort the passenger side front wing out um because that was reversed into about five years ago and i still haven't got it sorted um obviously i need to take the plastics off underneath the car and I need to check the chassis and the bodywork underneath um, because the car is 20 years old and obviously there's going to be a certain degree of weathering going on there. Um, so I want to see if there's going to be any welding needed or not because that is my next concern with this car. Um, rear door needs doing again reversed into albeit i was the one ready to go but i still got reversed into which was yeah absolutely ludicrous but 
in the day, you know. Um, because of the damage to my car, you're probably going to ask, oh, well, has this car been written off? Yes, it has. It's been cat end. Um, so, you know, if you would, if I was to sell it and you were to do a car vertical check or were to do some sort of uh, vehicle check on it, you will definitely see a cat um you know, write off cosmetic damage, of course, because obviously I bought the car back. I've had to get it through the MOT and the process to get it road legal again. And obviously now, you know, I'm looking at updating the car and hopefully securing it. So yeah, it's um, a project and um, I am enjoying this. I'm enjoying the process, but at the same time, you know, it's not something I can do every day because I have prior commitments. So what's next on the car? Well, it's tidying it up really. Um, so the wing needs tidying up. Eventually I'm gonna get the door sorted on it, the rear door because they're the only areas that really let the car down. Yes, the paintwork has seen better days, but it's not tragic or embarrassing me. Yes, it's got the odd paint chip and stuff like that, which will need tidying up or whatever. So at some point, I think a refresh on the bodywork eventually is gonna need doing. I'm not going to do it immediately because at the moment you know financially it just doesn't really make much sense for me personally financially moving forward uh future jtots cars content i'm still looking for participants for like basically show and tell on their cars and how their cars are still they feel their cars are still relevant to today's motoring and also with the offsetting of costs whether that be through modifications or just little areas of the car that have been improved to help with the daily functioning and daily use of the car. Um, so that's that's coming um, in future J Talks cars. I think with the next one, if I haven't got anything on that, I'm going to be doing something with Helen's car. Um, again, it's just more tidying up. I can't really do too much with hers because end of day, her car is just turned from work. She doesn't really want her car to be a science project as like mine has become. But, you know, at the same time, you know, she still wants the car to look tidy and everything. It's her baby. And obviously you always look after your pride and joy anyway. All that's left for me to say is please like, comment, subscribe. Um, obviously put the notifications on. Please share. Please spread the love. Uh, I'm enjoying, as I've said before, I am enjoying this content creation, car content creation. Um, you'll mo no, mostly see me do my Vader Monkey vlogs and my behind the scenes stuff, which is on this channel. Um, but at the same time, you know... I'm dabbling with the car content because I'm enjoying it. It's a hobby. I'm not trying to be, you know, and I've said this before, I'm not trying to be some major car content creator. I'm just trying to put my hat in on the table and offer other solutions to you motorists out there. And hopefully I'm providing something useful to you. Um, at the moment, it's been looking like I've, my car's turned into Frankenstein's, uh, creation even though it doesn't look too too bad if i do say so myself even though there are other people that will have their own opinion and um yeah i you know th this for me is a bit of a journey a bit of an adventure um like i said it's a hobby i'm not planning on doing anything ludicrous to my car because it go totally goes against the whole purpose of this content or what i'm trying to achieve by this content um, if you're not so sure what I'm trying to achieve by this content, what I mean by that is m mostly because there are a lot of motorists on the road that barely afford to be on the road. And we have this pressure to buy newer cars and become more greener. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you know, if you want to save the planet, that's fine. 
Um, but at the same time, if you can't afford to, you know, go and buy a newer car for, just to keep, you know, some eco group happy, um, then you have to make do with what you have. And, you know, what the cheapest option is, is, you know, a 20, you know, 15, 20 year old car that hopefully has been looked after and it's been maintained. I mean, I wouldn't recommend buying any old cheap car and whatever, unless you have the money to throw at it. Um, but yeah, it's just basically making what you've got work for you in a modern world. And that's what I'm trying to achieve with my car. Yes, this this episode's been more of a performance mod because originally I was thinking of it being detachable. I have built a bracket kit for it, which I have, you know, which is detachable. Um, so it can come off, um, but I feel as though it's more beneficial staying on the car. It's just I've got an extra couple of inches of clearance I've now got to consider when driving. So anyway, apart from going off on that tangent, again, I'll get back to the point. Please comment, like, subscribe, put notifications on, please support this channel. Um, you know, I'm. this is not going to be regular content with the JTORTS cars because I have other media that I prioritise, which is more in tune with my day job. Um, but at the same time, I do this as a hobby, as a sideline. And again, if it's of any relevance to you guys, I'm grateful anyway. So anyway, thank you very much. I will see you in the next JTORTS cars. And um, yeah, thank you for uh, watching. Ciao bien. Lagging whilst gaming? Out of steam after a long day at work and you want to go out raving? Or just need something to get you through your grueling day? Dubby Energy, a healthier alternative to the off-the-shelf brands. Dubby is packed full of the important aminos and vitamins that canned energy drinks don't provide. This product doesn't contain artificial additives and is also sugar-free, maltodextrin and keto-free. One tub on average is cheaper than consuming two cans per day of the off-the-shelf brands. Order your WNG via their website at w.gg and use my promo code VaderMonkeyJ to get yourself 10% off your order. Keeping yourself energised doesn't have to be unhealthy.